Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you guys a brief overview of the Smart HQ app that you'll need to utilize for your GE Profile Smart Washer and your GE Profile Smart Dryer. HQ actually stands for Headquarters. <laughs> Here's the app icon to look for in your app store. You can type in Smart HQ or GE Smart HQ, download, create your username and password, and let's go. The first thing you encounter is the home page. The home page will inform you of the status of your GE appliance. In this case, my GE profile smart washer and dryer is off. Also on the homepage, you will be able to schedule a service, have access to the self-help feature, and contact GE customer support. At the top right-hand side of the homepage on your app, you'll see three bars. Once you click there, you'll be able to access what's new, manage your account, sync your clock to your time zone, review your saved networks, review general information such as your GE privacy statements, license agreements, the smart HQ terms, product security attributions, preferences. You can also obtain product help, your languages, and you can sign out of the app from there. On the left hand side of the home page, you're going to notice an icon which looks like an oven. Click here to review and add Wi Fi connectable items such as your Wi Fi AC, dishwasher, smart homes, water filter, water heater, toaster oven, or even your Wi Fi espresso machine. I decided to wash a few towels to give you an example of what you'll see on your homepage within the Smart HQ app. Click the washer icon. Here I have the towel cycle selected with an estimated 25 minutes remaining. Swipe left on the two dots located below the estimated time. It will show you the estimated end time, which in this case, it's around 5.23 p.m. The soil level is normal, water temperature is warm, spin level is high. While your GE Profile Smart Washer is running within the Smart HQ app, you will see a purple line running from the left to the right. The Smart Dispense Mode was on with my favorite HE detergent. The dosage amount I had manually selected on my GE Profile Washer is more. The remaining balance is at a good level. Also, you can manually select, change, and review your HE detergent type under the Smart Dispense section. In the Auto Order section, you can have Tide Audible's HE detergent shipped and billed to you, but I have this feature disabled because I use Gain. Besides, I enjoy shopping at the local grocery stores for household products. Do what's best for you. In the user guide section, this area will give you helpful information regarding your appliance. We will review this area more later on in this video. The usage section will show you how many cycles you have completed within the last 30 days leading up to your total combined last 90 days. I have 38 cycles within my first 30 days and 106 cycles in total for my combined 90 days. I really like how this app breaks down my cycles by month and day, allowing me to get a visual on my wash cycles on any given month or day. I think this is a really cool feature. If you would like to review your wash cycles or dry cycles on any given day of the month, just go into your usage section of your Smart HQ app, click on your desired month and date, and it will provide your wash or dry cycle data. My data is showing me that on November the 8th, I had three normal cycles. November the 12th, I had one quick wash, three normal cycles, and November the 26th, I had five normal cycles. Now I'm going to click on the dryer icon within the home screen while my GE Smart Profile dryer is still running. I had the dryer on the time dry cycle. It had three minutes remaining. When you swipe left on the two dots located below the estimated time remaining, it will show you the estimated end time, which in my case was around 5, 11 p.m. As you can see, this app complements the washer and dryer remotely and while you are on the go. In the dryer sheet section, you also have the option to monitor your dryer sheet usage. In my case, I manually input my 275 dryer sheets that I had available. This app will monitor how many sheets you use for a small or large load. Please also keep in mind that when you manually input your dryer sheets into the app, give it about 24 hours for it to upload and reflect.
The washer link area is where you would link your washer to your dryer, wireless of course, so you can choose a setting once. When selected, the dryer receives load information from the washer to automatically set cycle, dryness, temperature, and optimize your drying experience. We talked about getting into the user guides a little later on into the video, so hold on. The usage section within the dryer icon is very identical to the washer. This area will show you how many cycles you have completed within the last 30 days up to the combined total number of dry cycles leading up to your 90th day. I have 26 cycles within 30 days and 69 cycles in total for my combined 90 day time period. This is because not everything that I wash was placed in the dryer. I air dry my sneakers, some of my silk blouses, scarves, and other clothing bedding items. So my washer and dryer cycle count won't match up exactly. Let's get into your user guides section really quickly. Once you click on this section, you'll be able to review product videos, get some laundry tips, and connect your GE Profile Smart Washer or GE Profile Smart Dryer to Alexa or Google Assistant with voice controls. Now, I wanna show you how you can remotely stop either your GE Profile Smart Washer or your GE Profile Smart Dryer. In the upper right hand corner while your unit is running you will see a red power button click this button you will receive a prompt message confirming if you want to turn your washer or dryer off select yes and your washer or dryer will immediately stop all from your smart hq app now, you can't remote start your GE Profile Smart Washer or your GE Profile Smart Dryer. You would have to start both appliances manually. Hopefully, GE will find a way to work this out. <laughs> I wanted to show everyone where your settings is located at the top right hand corner within either your washer or dryer icon on the home page. Click on the settings icon and here you will find all things related to notifications, notification history, your signal strength and product information for your GE Profile Smart Washer, your GE Profile Smart Dryer or any other GE appliance that you have linked to your Smart HQ app. Notifications include letting you know that you only have a certain amount of dryer sheets remaining, notifies you to withdraw clothes if the clothes have not been removed within 30 minutes, or notifies you when a cycle is completed, that your clothes are damp, clean your filter, my favorite of course, or that your smart dispense is low, time to refill. I switched on a few notifications here to show you guys an example. The notifications history section is going to give you a list of all of your prior notifications. These notifications will be given to you by the month, the date, and the time. So it's going to be from the most recent to the least recent notification. Your signal strength will allow you to review your Wi-Fi connection. In the product information section, I wanted to give you guys a quick list of what this section will have for you from your appliance type, such as the washer and dryer. You can nickname your appliance, so be creative. Your model number, serial number, software version, your Wi-Fi module software version, and your software updates. You do decide to download the app. This is one of the areas where I urge you to go ahead and explore. Towards the bottom of the product information section, you will be able to complete software updates or you can also remove your GE Profile washer or your GE Profile dryer from the Smart HQ app. Once removed, you will not be able to remotely control your GE Profile appliance with the Smart HQ app. You will have to relink your appliance within the Smart HQ app. 
Now that we went over the homepage features within the app, I wanted to move onward to the other features, which includes recipes, extras, and service. In the recipe section, you will be able to generate an AI assisted recipe. Just make sure you have a few of the ingredients of the meal that you would like to prepare. You will need to select what type of cuisine, what type of recipe, Italian anyone? I love Italian. List some of the ingredients. Um, make sure you have dietary preference and hello beautiful, generate a recipe. Now this is a work in progress like all AI software, so good luck. You can also review and save your generated AI recipes in the favorite recipes area. In the extra sections, this is where you can connect your GE Profile Smart Washer, GE Profile Smart Dryer, or other GE compatible smart appliances to Alexa or Google Assistant with voice controls. There is also a section where you can click each icon which will show you from the stove range, dishwasher, microwave, or wall oven to see if the Alexa app can support your smart GE appliance. In the Google Assistant section, you will also see a list of supported appliances from the range, dishwasher, and microwave. I wanted to quickly show everyone the screen that will pop up once you are ready to set up the Smart HQ app with your voice skill to enable your voice experience with Alexa or Google Assistant. The final area on the homepage of the Smart HQ app to explore is the service area. In this area, you will find information on how you can reach GE customer service, the hours of operation, you'll be able to schedule a service for your GE Profile Smart Washer, your GE Profile Smart Dryer, or any other GE supported smart appliance. You can schedule your service by just choosing the appliance needing to be serviced, fill in all of the required information, and hit submit. Also be able to provide feedback to GE by selecting the category for your feedback, for example, for your washer or dryer or any other GE supported smart appliance or appliance, you can type in the content of your feedback and submit. You can also use the drop down menu to select other feedback categories. The self-help section, you will be able to review and access owner support for your GE appliance. You can review the appliance manual, schedule a service from here as well, review maintenance videos, which is still a work in progress, register your GE appliance, review and order filters, parts, and another way to access the GE customer support. There's also a section to download a digital copy of your owner's manual, care manual, and installation instructions. All you need to do is enter your model number to see if your manuals and instructions for your GE appliance is available. Also in the self-help section of this app, you will have the opportunity to search the owner support library for further assistance. In the last section of the service area within the Smart HQ app is the video gallery. The video gallery has product videos, maintenance and support videos for your GE Profile washer, your GE Profile dryer, or any other GE supported smart appliance. Towards the bottom of the page in either of the product videos or maintenance and support video section, you can explore various GE appliance products. Also, as an added bonus to the bottom of this page, you can review and read about the benefits of the GE Profile Connect. For this video, I searched for the GE Profile Smart Washer and GE Profile Smart Dryer, which listed the current prices, product features, which you can read each detail at your own pace, the dimensions, colors, specifications, availability, warranty information, installation fees, your estimated delivery time frame, and the smart features powered by the Smart HQ app.
Final section of the Smart HQ app that I would like to review with everyone is the Smart HQ Assistant. It is powered by Google's AI. This icon is on your homepage. This AI is a developing technology like all AIs and a disclaimer was released on August 18, 2023 that it's still developing and you may encounter unexpected results. But try, try again, everyone. Let's just admit. We're in 2023 going into 2024. AI technology is here. It's an advancement and I think it's a good thing. I decided to ask a question just to test the waters. GE Profile Washer, it replied, what would you like to know about your GE Profile Washer? I wanted to know the price for the GE Profile Smart Washer, but like the disclaimer stated on August 18th, 2023, it is a work in progress and was not able to determine an answer. That's okay. It was getting late, so I did not attempt to try it again. Thank you guys for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to post them below and i will reply back to you i hope this information was helpful for you have a great remainder of your day bye